Hey homos, welcome back to Happy Healthy Homo. I am Joel Wood. And I'm Keegan Hurst. And this is our podcast. We are partners. We, If you're new here, we started a podcast earlier in the year and this is season two. So welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Go back and watch season one if you haven't. Yeah. If you want to get in touch with us, uh, you can email hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. Yeah. You can send in questions, queries, topics, unload, use it as therapy if you like. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, we're open to it. We are. But today's episode is a very fun one. This actually isn't based on one of your emails or any inspiration like that. It's about these phrases. You know, these phrases that people are using now, like ghosting, that mm. our parents are like, what is ghosting? But it's a thing for us. Um, there are loads more. Some of them, or the majority of them that I haven't heard of. And I thought it'd be fun to play a little game where we will sort of guess, one of us will guess what a word means okay. and then we'll explain what it means to you guys and we can all learn together Ooh, yeah happy healthy learning happy healthy learning <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's very cv business it is joel you go first then what's the first one so the, well okay. i'll read it to you the first one is zumping zumping what what, what, what do, do you think, think it is oh so well yeah i don't i don't know uh, it's got to be something to do with dumping someone zumping oh yeah dumping Zumping is when you unceremoniously dump someone. You do it in a in a mean way. You zumped someone. Like a zumping. You zumped someone. Okay. Basically, it's it's dumping someone over Zoom. <laughs> dumping someone over Zoom. Yeah. Who does that? You, see the th- Okay, let's let's think about this. If you were to dump someone over Zoom, would you? First of all, I would not have my camera on. <laughs> Just Cam- voice. Cameras voice only. Cameras off. I'd have what? a jazzy background, like riding a roller coaster. <laughs> why? Why would? Why would you not just call the person? Why would you want to do that on a camera? That's such a weird. It's a very office. Yeah, thing. it's a very. That must be like a baby boomer thing that they've then turned into <laughs> millennium because any one of our generation would just do it on FaceTime. So, if you were going to do it via technology, you'd do Im- it on imagine, FaceTime. Imagine, um, I'm sending you a link for a yeah. Zoom meet. We've got a Zoom meeting scheduled in. What do you mean, Barry? Yeah. <laughs> Unless it was a COVID thing, where it's like people I, were having Zoom dates. I think that's what it said here. Oh, is it? Something to do with coronavirus pandemic, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so being zumped. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what? It's not as cruel though. When I was younger, when I was um, when I was a wee boy, when I was doing my joinery apprenticeship, there was another mm. lad who was doing his apprenticeship, and he was a bit of a womanizer. He was a little bit older than me, mm. and he uh, he said the I once asked him what was the worst way that he dumped a girl. Yeah. And he said that he texted her, and the text said, "Dumpsville population you." <laughs> I just don't believe anyone is savage enough. Oh, he was. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he was quite. Wow. Right. So the next one is flea bagging. And I've heard of this before, but I can't remember what it means. I've not heard of it. Like the TV show. Yeah. So it must be something to do with the TV show. It must be started by Phoebe Waller Bridge. So um, I, I, I can't remember. Does she dump someone in a particular way or do something? Maybe it's talking to breaking the fourth wall during sex. Okay. No, it is continually dating people who are wrong for you. Having a type, you know they're not compatible and they're not a match, and you continue to do it. You're flea bagging constantly. You're constantly. Che- We've all got that friend that dates <laughs> someone that you're like, another one, another toxic narcissist, another one, <laughs> another one. That's it. Um, yeah, uh, that's not me and my friendship group, which is good. But I, I know people like that where they just date the wrong person all the time. So they're, they're flea bagging constantly. Mm, I know a friend who would say that I've flea bagged before. Really? Mm. Well, I mean, I've dated horrible people, but I didn't think. It was a continual thing. Really? Yeah. And then you broke the pattern with me, babe. TBC. Lucky thing. TBC. Okay, next one. I, th- I mean, as a sportsman, I would think that I knew, know what this one is. But, Joe, what is benching benching oh i reckon it's dating multiple people and then you're benching a few options while you focus on one and then it's like yeah so it for me i might be like oh, i've been benched by someone that i'm dating because uh i think they they prefer this other person but they haven't completely gotten rid of you they're keeping you is that what it is yeah so it's yes. that's not a bad effort that it's it's basically 
texting and planning dates enough to keep someone dangling on a uh, string. So not quite what I said, but nearly. But keeping them in the game. Yeah. But just eno- enough. Yeah. So they've kind of been benched. They're not on the field. They're not a main player. Yeah. I think I've been guilty of doing that when I was single. I was like, because Lucy always used to find it funny because she'd be like, oh, got any dates? And I'd be all or nothing. For weeks, I'd be like nothing. And then suddenly, I should be like, got any dates? And I'm like, yeah, got four this week. And she's like, what? I remember once I had three in one day. I did a breakfast date, lunch date, dinner date. Clear didn't have all, much on that day. All, all the meals. <laughs> all the meals. And uh, the first two were rubbish. The final one was actually someone I dated for a while. So I was like, it worked out well. One out of three, not bad. <laughs> Disclaimer, he put out on all three dates. On all three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> okay, next one, your turn. So the next one is breadcrumbing. I think I know this one. I think I I think that's, I feel like this is similar to benching where you just give someone enough mm. to keep them going. Oh, this person is interested. They do drop me a yeah. message. They do make a plan here and there. They, yeah. There is life in the old girl. Yeah. Yeah. They're keeping but you. They're just keeping you on a coming. on a string. I think that's what I did. Not benching. It was more like a. Is that that? Am I right? Yeah. Just as the name in the term implies, breadcrumbing refers to the stringing of someone along. They might leave a like on your latest Instagram post or send a sporadic flirty text, but the reality is that those little breadcrumbs they leave you to spike your interest are probably all you're going to get. Okay. So sad. A bitch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't. I've never heard this one. Catch and release. Catch and release. Well, I would assume based on the net that it's like oh. you just is it that you sort of grab anyone? You're sort of like you're trying to you're so desperate for a date that it's like you just focus on the first person you can get and then you release them if they're not for you. So you don't you don't put any thought into dating? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good uh, try. So it's it's basically people that love the thrill of the chase. So the, I'm sad to, sorry to say that this was me. Like, the playing the game, the texting, the texting, can I get them to go on a date with me? Can I get them to da 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 da? Yeah. You, you do, you either meet up or hook up or whatever yeah. as your jam. And then nothing. Not interested now because I've got what I came I've got for. Got what I want. I've, yeah. I've, the I've pl- thrill I've of the chase. Played the game. So, yeah. uh, and as it says here, a person who practices catch and release does not have any intention of actually dating you and they never did. It's all a game to them. Mm. So I went through, a f- I did I'm go guilty. through a phase of that. So that's cruel of me. It is cruel. But you're obviously, I feel like if you're doing that, you're scared of. Oh, yeah. It's I'm your not, issue. I'm not like justifying it's, the behavior, no. but there's a reason why someone's doing that. Well, you're all right to admit to doing it. You're not saying that you're not proud of it. So I think if anyone was trying to cancel you for that, they can't. But I think that's the thing. If you have ever been catched and released, caught and released, catched, catched. Wow. <laughs> says the link man with a linguistics degree. <laughs> if you have ever been the victim of catch and release, then yeah, just remember it's a reflection of them, not on you, because okay. that's not a good trait. Okay. So the next one, we all know what catfishing. Oh, yeah, we know catfishing. The photo doesn't look like the person. That's happened to me on dates. And then I've worried that maybe also that's I've done that. And I'm like, what if I've turned up on a date and someone's gone, ooh, that's not what you look like in your photos. But I've definitely had that of you. Um, Where someone looks not wildly different, but you're like, oh, that was just a very, very good photo of you. No, I haven't where I've met someone on a, on a date. Okay. Um, I've had catfishers where... People have had photos of someone who is absolutely not yeah. them. And it's a completely different person. Really? And then you saw them in person? No, no, uh, no, no. I mean, on like dating. Yeah, apps. and thought there's something fishy here. Yeah. This is not that. There's something going on. Yeah. Um, I've had it with myself as well, where someone told me that someone was on Hinge with my photos. So I was trying to desperately get to them, and I did. And then I matched with them. And then I was like, what are you doing? Do you, do you want to know a, a ball, a really good one that really made me laugh of catfishing? So um, I mentioned this in another episode. There's a Facebook group that we got going called the New Gay Community. Free Facebook group, loads mm-hmm. of people in. It's a nice place to be. So obviously I set that up. There's other admin guys and moderators and stuff, but um, one of the people who jo- went to join the group, w- I, obviously I don't think they knew that I'd set it up. They had my photos. What? That's They'd so They'd set weird. up an account and it, they had my photos, but it said something like Richard Catling oh. or something like that. And everyone was like, 
That is ridiculous. <laughs> How do people just like with mine, where it's like that catfish had matched with me? The person whose photos it is, but really? they obviously didn't realize. <laughs> so it's like, how do how are people that dumb? That is brilliant. So weird. Yeah, next one. Right, the next one. I think this sound. I haven't read what it is yet, but I think it's quite obvious. I reckon cushioning. Mm, I would. I'm gonna go with like softening the blow when you're gonna dump somebody somehow. Keegan, that is exactly what it is. Ding ding ding. You know when you start to sense that a breakup is fast approaching? Well, some people will try to cushion the blow of the impending split by talking to and even flirting with other people as their current relationship is going downhill. So actually, you're wrong. I didn't oh. fully read the sentence. It's cushioning your own blow of a breakup by, you know, Oh, so sensing. you sense that it's coming, so you start getting validation from somebody yeah. else. So, so that you're when not that on happens, your ass. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought when I read the first sentence that you were correct but i revoke that correct answer and say that you're wrong ding 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 ding, 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 ding. so yeah cushioning that's uh whoopee cushioning Do you remember yeah. whoopee cushions how good were they <laughs> um oh i don't know what this is dtr i know what dtf is determine the relationship defining oh define the relationship so i think this is back to like a discussion we had before about like um are we exclusive are we this? yeah are yeah, we yeah, that? yeah it says it's otherwise known as the talk i would not say that that is the talk the talk is about where penises go <laughs> oh really oh your mind you're so base no, but like you have the talk with kids, right? Well, I suppose I do because I've got two children. Oh, that's the talk, yeah, if you're thinking about parenting, but maybe this is relationships, so... Well, that's... But I would just deem the talk is about the birds and the bees. Oh, uh, okay. Or the b birds and the birds and the bees and the bees. I don't know, whatever. But yes, uh, defining the relationship, are we hooking up? Is it casual, boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever yeah. it is? Okay. Cool. The next one we we know. What's that? Um, F... FWB I don't know that. is an acronym for a common phrase, friends with benefits. Oh, yeah. Know that. Know it, done it, yeah. So that <laughs> means being friends and bumping uglies as well. Yeah. Making the beast with two backs. Yeah. Ew, Keegan. <laughs> this is a child-friendly podcast. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, my turn. Okay, okay. Stop okay. cheating. He's looking at the definitions because he not, wants to I'm... win. He has to win every. As a sportsman, he has to win everything. I'm not a sportsman anymore. Well, I'm a retired sportsman now. Oh, this is cool. I've not heard of this. Gatsbying, aka Instagram standing. I don't know what that means. Well, I would say, and I would more get this from the Instagram standing than the Gatsby thing. I, I assume it's making out that your relationship is amazing, posting stuff about, look at us with this and that, and we have a perfect life. So it's kind of, not quite, not in terms of a relationship, but it's saying that if you've ever used Instagram to, cry, to try and capture the attention of someone you like, you're like, you're posting a story to try and get that person to send oh, you a message. Okay, yeah. You're posting a post for one person. Okay. You want to see them like it. Okay. That's Gatsbying. Okay. Oh. I don't know what Instagram standing means because it's not Instagram standing, it's Instagram standing. No, because the, the term grandstanding. If you grand, means. grandstanding is putting on a, a show for a. So Isn't it, that a horse show? A grandstand? Well, Grandstand used to be a sports show, oh, like okay. a recap of everything. I'm in the, like, 90s. Oh, okay. So when you were, like, 20. But the phrase grandstanding means showing off, basically. Oh, so. Yeah. No, I just choose to <laughs> ignore you being a little bitch. <laughs> uh, grandstanding. Grandstanding, It means okay. showing off. Showing off. Yeah, so that makes sense then, I suppose. Cats being... We've all cat speed, haven't we, when we were single? Haunting, a.k.a. zombieing. Oh, I know what that is. You've ghosted someone or broken up with someone and then you come back from the dead and you're like trying it again. Yeah, it says an ex who an ex an ex who texts you out of the blue just after you've finally got over them or like someone who's <sighs> ghosted and disappeared. Yes, you've hit the nail Ridiculous. on the head. They've come back from the dead. That's happened to both of us in this relationship. My ex and Keegan's ex at some point last year have both like messaged us like I I don't want to talk to you actually. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, no. Hey. Get out. Hey you. Ugh. Next one. Respect the dead. <laughs> Stay dead. <laughs> Stay dead. Uh kitten fishing. I, I don't know what this is. 
I is it where ooh, well I assume kitten's something to do with being cute, right? So is it where you pretend you're really cute? No. <laughs> do you want another guess? No. Okay. So catfishing, we know that's when you're a completely different person, or maybe they use someone else's. You photos. pretend you've got children. You no. use children. You what? Uh, like I don't mean you use children. I mean, like you get if you're uh, got a friend who's got a child, you take a photo with the cute child. Yeah, that could be it because it's not it's not as big <laughs> as catfishing. It's a smaller scale kitten fishing. So maybe they lie about their job. Maybe they lie that they've got kids. They they pretend they're a really that's good a, uncle. Oh, that's I'm gonna say that's a big lie. <laughs> that well it is a big lie, but basically lie about their job, exaggerate a lot about their lifestyle. Include photos of them from 10 years ago, which okay. if you are on a dating app, don't do that. Get get new up-to-date photos. Get new headshots. Get new <laughs> headshots. Um, so it's not as big deal as catfishing, but it's still not a good basis for a relationship. It's what we call Billy bullshitting. It's what we call lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we, we would call that Tommy Two Sheds. Oh, really? Where you kind of pretend that everything's more than it is. Yeah. You know, like if someone says they've got an Xbox and then someone says they've got a yeah. Y box. I've never understood people that overplay things. I think I'd, I would always rather underplay things. Less is more. Yeah, well, I'd rather someone discovered it on their own terms. Like if I wanted to tell someone that I've done something great in my career, I'd rather just like underplay it and then someone later go, you know, you said this. That was actually a huge deal. And I go, oh, oh, was it? <laughs> As opposed to overwrecking it and going, ah, oh, this, 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 and this. That's the that's the man with patience, though. You're a patient man. I am patient. I'm not a patient man. I'm amazing. Tell me I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Never heard this one. Marleying. Marleying. Oh, it's not like the film Marley and Me, is it, where the dog dies? No, no. Think oh. more Christmas Carol. Marley. <gasps> yeah, so something dead. Marley and Marley, dead. Is it a bit like... It's, when someone who's ghosted you is watching your story still, they still follow you, but they, they don't interact with you, but they're just lingering in the background. Okay, so it's very similar to zombieing. Okay. But it's specifically around Christmas. Like, <laughs> because it's Christmas Carol, so people feel lonely at Christmas, yeah, don't they? That is cuffing season. So what's that mean? Cuffing season is like autumn and winter. It's where the nights get darker. Everything's colder, and you're like, oh, summer's over. I'm happy to be single in summer, but... Hot girl summer's done. Yeah, I want a homeboy summer, a homeboy winter with a boy. I want a boyfriend for the winter, basically, is cuffing season. And hot girls. So that's why you see lots of people get into relationships over the winter months, cuffing season. But, yeah. <laughs> also, the heating goes on, there's cost of living crisis. Well, exactly. And you the need energy cap's warm. gone up, so, <laughs> you know, you can snuggle up to someone. Yeah, so, from Christmas Carol... Jacob Marley comes back to haunt Ebenezer Scrooge. If you've never read oh, wow. um, A Christmas Carol, it's by Ol uh, Charles, Oliver. Charles Dickens. It's by Oliver. <laughs> With an exclamation point. <laughs> <Yeah. back. laughs> Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. Um, yes, yeah, so he come back at uh, Christmas. Okay. Okay. Your turn. It's micro cheating. Goes in it's the in the name. Goes in the microwave. It goes in the microwave. <laughs> well, I assume it's like not sleeping with someone or kissing someone or meeting up with someone it's maybe like i don't know because i feel like sexting is a big deal but maybe like following and a bit of a flirty dm chat yeah so it says social media has like complicated the concept of fidelity so like is it okay to like a comment or like someone's photos on a hot model's instagram when you're in a relationship so it whilst it's not hooking up that would be like cheating it's sort of it says you only you and your partner can decide what constitutes micro cheating. You might be fine with the fact that they like flirt with someone, like someone's post, or you might not. You might liking think it's unfaithful. Liking someone's post is not flirting. I with know. Them. It's liking a picture on Instagram. I think messaging someone is. Yeah. Because well, that is, I'm flirting with someone. What if the it shows an intention? What if the messaging is not flirting? Well, what? yeah, if you're just saying, hey, mate, how are you? That's, that's not micro cheating. Hey, mate, how are you? Well, yeah, I'm saying that's that. If you're messaging them that, that's fine. Hello. But you said, what if it's not flirty? Well, yeah, but yeah. So it's it's like about a specific thing. Yeah. Not like, well, again, you this look is... so hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Chad. But this is why it has to be defined in a relationship because only the two people in the relationship can define what that is. Because for some people, like even liking someone else's photo Ooh, might yeah, be cheating. I know some of the lads at, at rugby wouldn't dare like a photo of a girl. Really? 
which I think is sad. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, I think liking is fine, but yeah. Go grippy yourself. <laughs> um, okay, next one. Orbiting. 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 Is it a bit like stalking someone? Like you're just literally, you're focused on this one person and you're orbiting around them. You just can't let them go. You're stalking them. It's, okay. So this was coined by the writer Anna Levine from... Uh, Avril Levine. Anna Levine. <laughs> Man Repeller is what she wrote. Where you're close enough to see each other but far enough to never talk. So it's basically, they might not reply to your text messages or want to meet up but they'll retweet your last tweet or like something so they're like in your orbit but they're not there's no contact so like the moon is in the earth's okay. orbit satellites are in the orbit but they never so if you were to if you were dating someone and they hadn't replied to your message or read your message on whatsapp but they'd liked your instagram photo yeah that's orbiting yeah okay it's like they're not all in they're half yeah. in half out kind of thing yeah mm. Okay. Not cool. Not cool. Go if on. someone does that to you, just leave it. Ooh, Don't I... question it. Uh, oh, and the next one, roaching. 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 Cut my life in two pieces. This is my last result. That was by someone called Papa Roach. This has been a very rock-heavy season. Rock on, guys. Um, it's very angsty, Keegan. <laughs> Keegan. Um, it was something to do with a cockroach. They won't go away. They won't die. Cockroaches don't die, do they? Okay. No. Okay. It's not that. <laughs> so, roaching is basically like... Oh, wait. Okay, you go. Isn't a roach something to do with a spliff? No. Well, it might be, but it's not I thought not it was here. the thing that people put in, I don't like weed, so... Um. So, basically, it's kind of... I think this is, like, essentially cheating, although it doesn't say about exclusivity, but it says it's one thing to decide to keep things on a casual basis or if you're early days dating, that's fine. But if you're intentionally dating still other people behind the other person you're dating's back... So, basically, if you haven't been honest with that person... Okay. ...about the fact that you are still dating multiple people, but you know that they think you're exclusive or okay. you're nearing that... But you've then never confirmed you've it. You've never confirmed it. And it says, to make it worse, when you find out and confront them about it, they usually claim they didn't know you had an understanding to be exclusive. So they're like, oh, I didn't realise we are exclusive. Okay. But apparently so it's like a, it's like a loophole of, well, we didn't officially say. Yeah. So. Even though we've been dating six months and we haven't clarified it and you, we kind of, we've been meeting up three times a week solidly for, for those six months. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise, and they've been dating people behind your back. Okay, roaching, that would... Roaching. Why, why roaching? I guess because it's a sh shitty thing to do. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Sidebarring, a.k.a. Fubbing. Fubbing. <laughs> Spelt with a PH. That's why I... That's what threw me. Well, I'd assume sidebar is less important. Ooh. Fubbing is a bit like fobbing, like fobbing someone off. Mm, I'd fun. say maybe, but then that's like something we've said about keeping them benched. But similar to benching, you're kind of, you're keeping them there, but they're not a priority. No. Oh. So you were close. Fubbing is phone snubbing, an amalgamation. Okay. So it's basically when Leaving you're... Leaving them on when red. You're, no. Oh. Let me speak. <laughs> For once. <laughs> um... <laughs> it's where your date is more interested in their phone so they're checking texts they're on social media that is him well when i'm working that is you no keegan i'll be like how's your day keegan and he i give him my undivided attention he's he's telling me how his day was then he goes how was your day i start talking his phone's out that's dis Rude. that's disingenuous fubbing fubbing disingenuous <laughs> a disingenuous if I'm in the middle of something and then you come in and speak to me. That's not that's not how it happens and you know it. But the thing is, we've communicated it, guys. And I've said to him. On this podcast, this is where we air that. all our grievances. <laughs> <laughs> uh, situationship. We know what that is, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so. It's like not been defined. It's a, yeah, a bizarre sort of limbo, yeah. pseudo relationship. I yeah. love the word pseudo. Pseudo. Like pseudo, pseudo science, pseudo relationship. This is a pseudo podcast. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Is it? Um, slow fading. I think it's when you know you're going to break up. Not like cushioning, but like what you guessed cushioning was. It's a slow fade. It's like, mm. right, I'm going to break up with them, so I'm going to slow fade, fade to black really slowly. Yeah, it's the same. yeah. so ghosting is dropping off the face of the earth. Yeah. Slow fading is gradually. Like like uh, that 
Homer Simpson yeah, meme. Yeah, gradually in the bush. Yeah, that's slow fading. Your, okay. Your turn. Right, the next one is stashing. Do you know what stashing is? Something to grow in a moustache. They stashed me, mate. <laughs> Joel's a rude boy. Um, I think it's growing a moustache and pretending that you're Tom Selleck and suddenly the person is not into moustaches or whatever and they dump you. No. That's a good guess. Thanks. I like that. I, I, I was... do like a man with a moustache. It's very Tom of Finland, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so stashing is... Cut to Keegan next episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do look good with a moustache. Yeah, I also... When he's been shaving, I'm like, keep your moustache just so I can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's good. I do look like Tom Selleck. Maybe we should do Like Movember. a young Tom Selleck. Why don't we do Movember for this podcast and get all of us to do Movember together and raise loads of money for charity? Because we record ahead of time. That's true. It's not possible. <laughs> right, no, stashing is when you're dating someone who doesn't introduce you to their friends and family they don't talk about you on oh, social they media stash you they're away. stashing you away and you're going is it because you're embarrassed of me is Ooh. it because you're seeing other people and you don't want them to know you're taken like what is it you're stashing me that's not cool it's not cool is it yeah some bad communication going on there yeah i've never heard this one submarining i feel like i've heard this but i can't for the life of me remember what it is i don't know oh no it's, idea. it's almost it's it's like um zombie in when someone you were, were boom, this is why I'm not a voiceover artist. When someone you were romantically involved with ghosts or slow fades you, then randomly resurfaces Ooh. with no apology and pretending <gasps> yeah. as if nothing has happened. As if That's nothing happened. That's called submarining. Okay, so the difference there would be the resurfacing as if nothing's happened. Yeah, resurfacing. Yeah. I love that. Well, I hate it, but I love that word, submarining. Oh, a text relationship. <laughs> I, I'm guessing that's where you never meet. Yeah. But you do flirting and you know you get those texts and you go, ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who puts he he yeah. on text? No grown don't, man should use don't the word do he that. He. And also, emojis, the crying face, don't use the one on an angle. Why? That's the wrong laughing emoji. There's two choices. You're so millennial. And that's the wrong one. Don't use the cry laughing emoji, full stop. Use the, the gravestone or the skull. skull. Yes, dead, 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 dead. Anyway, um, uh, Joe, uh, don't what? call me out on being a millennial when you use the millennial zoom on everything. The millennial zoom is the best thing on Instagram stories. Zoom into the face, zoom out. It's really also good. we are millennials. Yeah, it's true. I'm not ashamed of that. And I do use the cry laughing emoji. But when I remember, I try to be Gen Z and I, I, I use the dead emoji. I wonder what's going to be in another 10 years. Be like an orange or something. <laughs> like I laughed so hard I turned orange. And, and on oranging. <laughs> and on oranging, we have completed the list. So let us know what you thought about those. Did you know they exist? Do you think these words are pointless or do you think they're actually fun? I think they're fun. Yeah. Have you ever been submarine? <laughs> yeah. Let us know if you've ever been bungalowed, guys. Yeah. And if you don't know what bungalowed means, then get with the program. <laughs> what does? Did you know bungalow is an Indian word? Really? Yeah. Like oh, pajamas. Wow. No, I stole it from a Michael McIntyre sketch where it was like any word, if you add ED, can mean drunk. And like, oh, bro, I got absolutely bungalowed last night. Is that oh, your Michael McIntyre? I got lamped, man. That means Whatever. you get hit, though. Does it? Oh, I didn't know that. Joel doesn't know. <laughs> He's I not, not grown up on the streets. No. Well, I'm not from the north, so. Mm. <laughs> don't know that's relevant anyway uh, <laughs> um if you've enjoyed it please review the podcast let us know um leave a review get in touch with us subscribe on youtube what yep. um get in touch with us on email hello mm -hmm. at happy healthy homo.com any questions you want to be on helpful homos yep that's over on youtube so if you're listening to this do head to our youtube channel where you can watch these episodes and you get those extra helpful homo episodes yeah also if you'd like to become a channel member over on youtube it's 6.99 a month and you get two members only live streams every single month where we will be live chatting to you answering all your questions and just hanging out yeah you get dizzy on merch which means discount on merchandise um and you'll get a heads up about any live stuff that we're yeah. doing that's coming down the pike yeah. so Very thank good. you for watching thank you for listening share it sharing is caring remember guys yeah and don't get zumped gazump <laughs> thanks guys bye, bye.